latest and greatest in luxury duo trio bases. Welcome to your new home. Enjoy nine bunkers to safeguard your treasures. Pixel bunkers. External TC mini bunkers. Even your compound walls have bunkers. And your main TC. Well, that's a double bunker. But offline loot protection is only half the story. Control your area with powerful compound peaks, designed with multiple redundancy in mind, and clear angles to any point outside your compound, and should the situation arise, inside your compound as well. Traverse the full wide gap shooting floor with its unparalleled vision and exquisite peaks. This is Castle Doctrine Country, punk. Clear the roof with devilish ankle biter roof peaks and rest in lavish, fully stocked bedrooms, including sentry turrets that can be safely operated from inside. And speaking of bedrooms, with six raid defense bedrooms divided between shooting floor and compound, all with storage, protected lockers and peaks, pest control has never been easier. Just ask this young lady. Maybe you don't want to broil eggs this way, but you do want the extra protection of band-aid plastic strips. And you'd expect such luxury to come at a cost. But here at G-Lights and Sons, we do things differently. With our best-in-class engineers, we've pushed cost efficiency to the realm of the absurd with this design. Have you ever seen a base so strong and feature-rich, yet so affordable? No, you certainly haven't. Enjoy your new home, the Grail 2 from G Lights and Sons. We shall begin by creating a pixel gap using my campfire method. So place foundations as low as you can. Place a campfire here and crouch next to it. Make sure you're looking relatively forward, not too much downwards or upwards. Now take tiny baby steps sideways until you get this little up and down motion. Whoop! Did you catch that? Here, let's do it again. Whoop! Alright, so right after the whoop, place a triangle, then crouch left, not moving your mouse, and push a second triangle deep into the first. Excellent! Now check that this turns blue. If so, do this. And make sure this one's blue as well. Now this method is easy and reliable, but I use a different one in Wipe, as it allows me to create much finer pixel gaps. Link to that method in the description. Either way, you now want to upgrade these foundations. Here, place the TC all the way to the right and close yourself in like so. Now jump out, turn right, and honeycomb this triangle, which is where your TC is. Good, now let's do the second floor. Place a single door here, wall here and a wood triangle between them. A double door goes here and close it all in. Now once you get a ladder, soft side this and make a roof exit. Okay, now inside, this is going to be a loot room, but to avoid the triangle splash bug, we're gonna have to do it a certain way. So what you do is you place all these triangles inside, then place triangles outside the base, like so, then destroy the inner ones and replace them from the outside in.
See these lines? That's what you want. Oh, but don't close this loot room yet, since you still need to upgrade all these floors. Okay, so let's go outside. And here what you want to do is place a triangle foundation here. And then one very deliberately attached to the other side. Now check that you have this large stone texture on the top right of the triangle. Or alternatively, that this blue particle effect is flowing from left to right. And if so, upgrade. And repeat the process on the other side of the base. The reason you have to do it this way is, well, these two foundations are actually of different height. And that will allow us to have some insane pixel bunkers later on. Good. Now set yourself up whatever jump up, it can be an item or some twig tiles. And let me show you something really cool. And this step you don't have to do right now, you can delay it to any point in the build, okay? So first we're gonna place this missing foundation here. You want to kind of pull it away from the TC side. See how it pulls away from the TC foundation? And again the stone texture has to be on the top right. Now, as soon as you have some HQM on hand, first upgrade the TC triangle. And then go stand in this corner and from here do this. That's right, it's a pixel bunker. Well, at least it should be. <laughs> don't, don't upgrade before checking. Good, good! Now upgrade to sheet metal and you're done. Just don't upgrade to HQM or it'll stop working and never leave this around for raiders to use, okay? And so, the first stage of this tutorial comes to a close. And in the second stage of the build, we expand and we upgrade. Alright, time to expand. From the front door, go left, upgrade these foundations and make a new entrance like so. Then upgrade these two first floor walls, honeycomb, and that's our new main entrance. Now let's continue developing our late onset OCD with some correct triangle placement. So outside in, stone texture on the right side like so. Perfect. And now we honeycomb. So starting with the front door, here we'll add two levels of walls. Now going right, you'll have to add three foundations before you can honeycomb. Now here, upgrade the right wall. And again, build two walls up. And now we can work on the third floor. So first, place them triangles. You know the drill. Though here it's especially important, because if you don't do this right, the pixel bunkers won't work. Obviously don't block this, it's the entrance. And just continue closing the whole thing in, first with correctly placed triangle tiles and then with walls. And this third floor is where we spend most of our time when in the base. So let's fill it up with easy access loot rooms. So here to the right of the door, first we upgrade these two floors. Then we do the whole shelf from the inside out and then from the outside in trick. Though trust me, I will post an update when the triangle splash bug is fixed. 
And for the pixel bunkers to work, the ceilings too have to be correctly placed. So that's our first loot room, next to which we're gonna add a wall and a roof exit. Then moving on to this corner, again we upgrade the floors, carefully place the ceilings. So that's our second loot room. And the third goes right here, left of the door. With this corner being where I like the workbench. Now fill the corridor with as many garage doors as you can make. Close everything up, also adding a roof exit, and the base core is done, just in time for upgrades. Let's start with the bottom floor. Here you want to HQM this foundation and the two ceilings. And this corner you first upgrade and then close off, essentially honeycombing it from the inside. Now, here you could either have a door or double up on the bubble up, by which I mean, from this position, place two half walls, break the lower one, and then replace it from the inside, soft side towards you. Now, you can't get out of here without uh, self-deleting, but when you do, you're gonna find that you now have two pixel gaps protecting your TC. Of course, you have to test it and only upgrade if it works. And this works because, well, remember how in the beginning you placed the TC all the way to the right? Well, this is why. Now, on the second floor, you want to upgrade almost everything to sheet metal. You can skip this shelf and the garage door frames. Optionally, upgrade these ceilings before closing the loot room, though they can still be upgraded from above later. And not as critical, but situationally useful is HQMing the chute. Then we have this door, now leading nowhere, so upgrade everything inside, close up like so, and replace with a vending machine, which in combination with a large box will serve as a jump up. Now on the third floor, upgrade every tile you can reach, except for door frames. Also very important, these shoot walls you want to upgrade and then rotate. See, of all things, Face Punch decided to buff offline raiding, and so the half height shelf no longer protects the wall's soft side, hence the need to rotate. And finally, except for the roof exit, anything you couldn't reach from inside, upgrade from the outside. Which lands us on the end of stage 2 with a fully functional honeycombed core. And in stage 3 of the build, we're going to really secure our base and take over our area with external TCs all of which double as bunkers. Ready? For the external TC mini bunkers, let's start with these flat wall sides of the base. So what you do is, you build out two squares and a triangle, Then remove the squares and replace with more triangles. Good, now turn around and build triangles the other way, with a raised foundation and window frame right here. Then two twig squares. And here we'll make my mini bunker external TC. So, two half walls facing the window, then this, and the TC backed against the half walls like so. Now place this twig triangle, and here it kind of depends on where you build your base. So depending on terrain and such, if you can build in that direction, place a wall here. And if you can build in that direction, place it here. Either way, place a square at the opening, and from it, build 9 triangle tiles out, like so. Cap with a square, remove all excess twiggies, including that one, and build back with squares. Now this triangle you want to attach to your side, so kinda look up like that, 
and place. Making sure that the stone texture is at the bottom left before upgrading. Then get rid of these guys and repeat, going 9 triangles out, a square here, demolish twiggies and back with squares, this time making sure to attach the last one deliberately to the twig side, like so. Then from this position place two half walls, a triangle tile and build up a second floor like so. This we do to access the bunker in safety and also maybe to hide the fact that it's a bunker. Now inside you can have two large boxes or one box and one large battery and you close the bunker by going here and attaching a second triangle to the first. Stability should always be below 12%. And when you need it opened go and do this. So damn useful. Alright, now let's take care of the disconnectable TC part of the disconnectable TC. So first place a frame here and connect back like so. Now if your main TC ever gets destroyed, break the connection like so, replace main TC and reconnect. Also this being the entrance side, let's go and add an airlock. Perfect! Now replicate that on the other side of the base, sans airlock of course, and next we look at these corner sides. Here you start with this build out, then remove twiggies and build back like so. Here you want two stone triangles. See this gap? That's perfect. So again, get rid of these, replace with two metal triangles, and build out like so. And here this triangle shall be our TC compartment. So two half walls facing the square, TC goes here, never forget the lock, and mini bunker. It's just the same as before. Only difference is here you connect it back like so. And again this is the disconnection mechanism. Okay, now build frames all the way back. And on this square we shall make our bedroom gatehouse combo. So first let's expand it a bit. Some windows. Sheet metal ceilings. And a ladder hatch. Now on top make a windowed bedroom like so. Now I'm partial to this setup for the peaks, the storage, the response, but you do you. And as for the gatehouse, a windowed door, combined of course with the actual windows, will give you pretty much perfect vision. Oh and this skin is called Bombshell Garish Door and as of right now is the cheapest you can get. Or alternatively, you can use three double doors to create an impassable airlock with good vision as well. Wait, what? This is so trippy. Alright, so now you have these bedrooms you can spawn in and defend from. You can even add turret pods with just perfect angles around the base. And that's stage 3 done. Next we add a full wide gap shooting floor, raid defense bedrooms and the now legendary grail pixel bunkers.
Alright, so for the white gaps, first add frames like this. To those, add platforms like so. Then add platforms off of the core. And finish with windows and embrasures. And now that we can build the pixel bunkers in safety, looking at the roof exit door, turn around and do this. And that's one beautiful pixel gap. So now complete the bunker, first HQMing the floors, then adding walls here, three code locked lockers side on to the gap, and close it up. Now you can access the lockers several different ways, I have a whole video on that, but the cool thing is these bunkers recently got buffed. See you can now access the locks which is so useful. And again I'll remind you to not HQM these and never leave the props behind when you go. Ok now let's make the second pixel bunker right here. First HQM these floors, then upgrade the shoot wall and rotate. And from this position, create the pixel gap like so. And now you can complete the bunker exactly as before. Then here, make an airlock using two single doors. And this space we usually reserve for electric systems, but you do you. Now close up with HQM and on we go to the bedrooms. Now this part is a bit complex, so just follow my lead. So this here is the roof peak, and on top goes the actual bedroom. Shelf and turret here. A single door here, and close it up. So that's two beds, a locker, large box, and a turret pod you can operate from inside. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. So replicate that goodness on the other side, close up the roof however you like, and that concludes the fourth stage of the build with an absurdly cheap, ultra tanky and highly defensible base. But in the final stage we're gonna go beast mode with the most incredible mini china wall compound. Peaks, bedrooms, bunkers, the flipping works. So, the mini china wall. Strangely, the simplest part of the build. From the right side of the gatehouse, build foundations like so. Add two half walls, with window frames thereupon. And two triangle roofs complete the peaks. To place these, first upgrade the raised foundation. And what gorgeous peaks they are! You can also fortify the turrets if you want. So now copy paste peaks on the left. And on we go to these funky window sides where we actually just copy paste them again. Great, now on the right build 4 triangles out, 
and on the three stone ones you set up a windowed bedroom. Now here you can use my dropbox trick, if it still works. Garage door goes here, but do make sure the roller is on the outside. Now try to get this locker exactly flush against the wall, which will in turn allow you to fit a bed just perfectly like this. You don't want any part of the bed poking through. This is perfect. Now going up, here we make an all-purpose shooting gallery. Then, to the left of the peak, first place these foundations. And then close a compartment off like so. Now add a double shelf inside. Then a wall frame, which must be rotated. You want these rough edges here. Then set a ladder hatch here. Then go right and try to place a square foundation like so. What you're trying to do essentially is to have it connect here, but with just a tiny little gap there. Test it by placing a wall. If the wall doesn't have precisely 78 or 79% stability, we do the foundation. Otherwise, do this. Sheet metal here is fine, but HQM even better. Upgrade the wall. And this is what we call a freehand conditional roof bunker. Then we have this side compartment, which is perfect for electrics. And up here, two windows and a single door frame. And now we seal the compound with high external walls. Now if you want to use this door as a kind of fire escape, then push the wall all the way in. If you just want it to be a peak, pull the wall out a bit like so. Now up here you could place a door if you want to, and if this happens, well here's a nice trick. So that's done, and now on this side just be careful not to block the right side window. So push the wall in like so. Perfect. Now just some final touches. You want to add embrasures like so. Oh, these floating ones? Here's how you do that. And to prevent grubs from uh, platforming your base, you can use whatever electrics you find to block the build sockets. And that's it, the Grail 2 is done. So much spread loot storage, multiple spawns, peaks that'll just dominate your entire area of the map, nine flippin' bunkers, well if you count the Pixel Gap TC. She'll carry you through the wipe, I guarantee. But anyway, thank you so much for spending this time with me. I do greatly appreciate it. In fact, I can't wait to see you all again. But until then, goodbye for now, and blessed be.